Few things are more satisfying on a hot summer day than a tall glass of homemade lemonade. Am I right? Today, I'm gonna to show you three tasty twists on a traditional lemonade that are going to blow your mind. First up today, I'm gonna to show you an uber refreshing watermelon lemonade. And how could that not be refreshing? Because let's be serious, watermelon and lemonade are two of the most refreshing things out there. We're gonna get started by mixing up some simple syrup. Now this is how we sweeten a traditional lemonade because of course, if you don't sweeten it, it really is just sour lemon water, which is not delicious. Okay, so we've got a saucepan heating up on the stove over medium low heat. And we're going to combine one part sugar and one part water. And then all you're going to do is whisk it until the sugar dissolves. What you end up with is simple syrup, a liquid sweetener that is very handy to have around for things like iced tea and lemonade. Time to add some watermelon to this lemonade. So I've got a couple cups of watermelon in my blender and I'm just going to puree it. Then I'm going to pour it into my pitcher, but I'm going to strain it with a sieve first because of course all of the seeds and the pulp are in there. And we don't want those in our lemonade. We just want the pure watermelon juice and all of that tasty flavor. Next, I'm going to add my lemon juice, my simple syrup, and my water. I'm going to stir this all around and it is as easy as that. I'm going to serve this over some ice and let me tell you, it tastes like summer in here. Or if you wanted to get real crazy, you go ahead and put some sparkling wine in there. Then you have like lemonade sangria. Next up, I'm going to show you a tasty lemonade that is infused with the flavors of ginger and mint. So, so yummy. So once again, I'm starting by making my simple syrup on the stove, but I'm going to infuse my simple syrup with some sliced ginger and some fresh mint leaves. I'm going to let these infuse for 10 or 15 minutes until all of that flavor has transferred over. Then I'm just going to strain my simple syrup and get started on making my lemonade. In my pitcher, I'm combining my lemon juice, my infused simple syrup, some water, and we're gonna add a couple gorgeous slices of lemon to this, and also just a few more lovely mint leaves. And I'm just gonna give it a good stir and serve it over ice with a fresh sprig of mint for garnish. Finally today, I wanna show you a really summery cherry pineapple lemonade. I love this lemonade because we're going to make it two-tone, which means it's extra pretty. Once again, I'm starting by making my simple syrup, and to that, I'm actually going to add some pitted cherries. Now, you could use fresh cherries, that would work beautifully, but I find them a little expensive and hard to find at different times of the year, so I'm actually using frozen cherries instead. I'm going to add these to my simple syrup and let them infuse over low heat for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to strain out my cherries and get to work on making my lemonade. Now in this case, I'm going to be combining some pineapple juice with my lemon juice, and instead of using just plain water, I'm going to be adding some sparkling water so I get a nice effervescent lemonade. To make my final drink, I'm going to add a tablespoon or two of my cherry-infused simple syrup to the bottom of my glass. Then I'm going to top that with ice and pour in my pineapple lemonade. What you end up with is this gorgeous drink that is absolutely irresistible. I like to garnish it with some fresh pineapple and some maraschino cherries. And ladies and gentlemen, that is lemonade. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now that, my friends, is refreshing. I really hope you guys will give these tasty recipes a try. And if you do, don't forget to tweet me, Instagram me, Snapchat me a photo because you know I love seeing your creations. Keep in mind the full recipes are in the description box below. You can take a look there. I've got lots more summer drinks videos here, here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from. True story.